Now, where have you been, kid kid? Oh, uh, where well, I've been, man. I ain't I've seen been, you in a minute. I've been everywhere, small since then. I, I really uh, took some time to actually get my business together, you know, behind the scenes business. And, Cause being an artist, you're never actually hands on with everything. You usually have so many people taking care of so many things for you that you kind of lose touch of everything, mm. you know, and, and I kind of went through a bad experience with that, so it, it kind of made me back up, you know what I mean? Like, as you notice, you know, I'm not here with, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know? So um, I kind of went through that situation, and that made me wake up. It woke me up, you know, it woke me up. It opened my eyes to a lot of things, and I told myself, yo, I can't, I can't let that happen again. Can't let that happen again. So I, I just been basically on my grind. I had to, uh, you know, get up, stack up a lot of new music, you know, because homie had all my music, you know what I'm saying, on the hard drives and everything. So, you know, I had to do a whole lot of more new music. I felt like like Future with the 56 Nights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when he so, lost his hard drive and had yeah, to create new yeah, music again. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. and. That's why I'm, I'm 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 ready. I'm ready now, and you know it's time to drop. It's time to just you know get the people what they need. Now, uh, what led you to that? You said you needed to clear some things on mm -hmm. the business end. W yeah. What event or what led to you having to do that? Well, um, I started just paying attention to a lot of things. I started paying attention to you know certain checks I wasn't getting and stuff like that. And, when I went to asking these questions, <laughs> you know, when I went to asking these questions, um, those p people got a little timid about it and, you know, started backing away. So I'm like, well, you know what, let me look into this. So when I finally looked into it and I went to seeing everything and everything I'm missing out on and things that, you know, you know, was being taken away from me and stuff like that, you know, it, it, almost, it almost broke me down. I ain't even gonna front, like it almost broke me down. I was like, man, you know, it make because it make you want to kill somebody. You know, it make you want to kill somebody, and I really, really had to sit down. You know, and and you know, talk to you know people that actually got genuine love for me. You know, and um, and he told me, man, what you mean, like, man, you know what? Just keep it moving. It's better. It's better for it to happen now than later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for real, it's better to happen now than later. So, I mean, you're kind of talking in the general sense of things, but yeah. is it somebody? Like stealing yeah, was, money was, from you? Is it yeah, somebody? Yeah, it was. It was my. You know, it was my old manager. You know, it was my old manager, man. He, you know, just really just kept me in a blind with so many things. You know, he kept me in a blind with so many things. And once I, like I said, once I opened my eyes to all of it, you know, it was like okay, you know. And and, he, and even then, bro, because even though he was my manager, he was still my friend also. Mm. So even when I did find out this and I found out that, I still was like, yo. Look, I'm on to it now. Let's just get it right. Let's fix it, you know, and let's keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And once he showed me, it was like f me on some. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, well, cool. Just give me my music. You know, all right, cool. And he ain't, you know, never got a response. Never this and that. You feel me? So now, nah, you know, and that. Like I said, man, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it make you, it make you wanna, you know, wanna do something. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, just keep it cool. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it cool and just, you know, work through it and everything like that. But you know, it got me, and it's a lesson learned. And and the, the crazy thing about it is, I, I can't even, I can't even be mad at home. I could really, I could just be mad at myself for being dumbfounded to everything. You know what I mean? So, you know, any any artists out there, don't be dumbfounded to what's going on in your situation. Make sure you know everything. Make sure. Make sure you're on top of it, man. Nobody's going to love you like you. Nobody's going to look out for you like you. For real. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you're hungry. That next person not hungry. You don't know that, you know? So you got to feed you. Now, are we talking about a significant am amount of money that was stolen? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? You gotta think about it, man. It was, <laughs> you feel me, small? Like, it was years, and you know what I mean? It was, you know, it was, it was a lot. So know? this wasn't it something was, that... It was enough. I'm gonna just say that. It was enough. And this wasn't something that started a week or a month or a couple months. This is something right. that's been going on for right. years. Right, right, right. Now, in today's times, 
There's mm. people that would kill somebody over a hundred. Oh yeah, of course, of course, man. They got people getting killed just from stepping on your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Just from looking crazy. Like, don't look at me like that, homie, and, and it becomes something else. Without you stating how much money you've lost or stolen or whatever the mm -hmm. case may be, mm -hmm. what what kept you from getting oh. physical with something like that? Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, do I look like I'm left off of bad and bougie? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, nah, but, you know, uh, like I said, you know, like I said, he, he, was a, he was a friend at first. You know, and I looked at it like, you know what, all right, cool. Because at first I was on that kick. You know, I was on that level. But then, you, you know, you really you really sit down and you think about things. You're like, you know what, that's part of the game, kid. You know, you, you just move on and you get better. You know, you get better. You do things better. You know, you try to do things the right way, for real. Uh, not defending the person yeah, 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 uh, yeah, in yeah. this situation, but just yeah. looking at it from a different angle. Yeah. Did the person do this maliciously, or was it something they didn't really know? I didn't, and, that, and, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like we didn't even have a chance to actually have that kind of conversation. You know what I mean? To, to where... Even if you did do it maliciously or whatever, how can I know that now? You know, how can I know that now? Because you, you just left me stuck. Mm. You know, you, you just left me stuck. Yeah. So is this person no communication at this point whatsoever? Nah, nah there's no communication right now. Mm. Yeah. Now, um, did you ever think about quitting music over something like this? Oh, um, nah, I never thought about quitting music. Uh, or getting out of the music business, like, okay, I'm well, done. Nah, this is nah, that's, that's one thing. No matter what I went through, no matter what I went through, and I went through a whole lot with this music business. That's why I, I kind of even wasn't surprised, you know. But I went through so much with it, you know, and I, and I feel like, and I feel like that's, and, that, and that's, that's what hits you, you know what I'm saying? It, that's what hits you because it's not about how hard you fall. It's about getting up. You know, it's about getting up, man. Like, I'll never, I'll never, I'll never get as up. This is what saves my life. <laughs> you know, like, this is what saves my life, man. This is what, you know, put food on the table in a legal sense. You know what I mean? So, you know, and this is like, this is a talent. This is what, this is wasn't a talent that I asked for. This is something that was given to me. Mm. For real. Like, it's like I couldn't give it up even if I wanted to. Even if I wanted to, man. For real. Now, uh, just what I know personally, mm -hmm. just in the music business, yeah. there's news stories I've seen of attorneys doing some fraudulent things yeah. uh, or mishandling money yeah. or that sort of thing. There's yeah. accountants, mm -hmm. uh, recording artists have hired that have mismanaged money or done some fraudulent right. things. In this yeah. sense, it's your management. Um, yeah. Any other advice you would give yeah. to an artist other yeah. than the uh, advice you've Look, already given? Like I've said, man, be mindful of the people who you trust. You know, even even when it's your, you know, your day ones, your, your gang gang and all that, like, make sure your circle is tight, man. If you don't got a solid foundation, how can you build anything? You know, that's just like when you're trying to build a house. If you're trying to build a house, if your foundation is not solid, that house is bound to crumble. So make sure your foundation is solid first. Were there, were there any signs, because you said this had been going on for years, were there previous signs of this happening and you just didn't tap um, into it, looking yeah, back on you know what's crazy? You know, what's, you know what's crazy? Yes, like, it, it, it kind of was. But you know, you know, you know, you, oh man, that's my boy, man, that's my pop, man. You mm. know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't even trying to even think like that. Mm. You know, you're not even trying to think like that until, you know, you come across one situation that could just change everything. And now you're forced to think like this. You're forced to, you know, ask these certain questions and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. But, you know, yeah, I'm over it now. You know what I'm saying? I'm over it now, you know. Uh, and now I'm just I'm just working. You know, I got everything back together. I'm, I'm just working now. How long right. of a break from music did you take? How did how long did this uh, process take for you to Well, I never clean up? I never actually took a break from music. Like I always stood in the studio, always recording, you know what I mean? When I when I said I took a break, I took a break from just trying to 
keep on dropping stuff and dropping things, you know, because I felt as though if I was to drop something at a certain point in time, you know where I was at the time, it'll fall on deaf ears. Mm. You know, it'll fall on deaf ears because I'm, I was actually just, I'm on my own. You know, it's like I was on my own, you know, and I'm and I'm trying to do this like I don't have all of the all of the resources, you know what I mean? I didn't have a publicist, I didn't have, you know, none of this or, or none of that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to, you know, chill, make sure I get everything together. Let me take a step back, see what I'm missing, see what I need to add, you know, and um, and put everything together. And now that I'm putting everything together and I, I feel like I have everything together, you know, I know it'll never be perfect, but, you know, I feel like I got everything together enough now to get everything moving. Yeah. So where are you at musically right now? Oh man, I, I feel like musically I'm I'm somewhere I've never been. Uh, like I feel like I'm more focused than anything right now. Than anything right now. Small. Like my my back is against the wall right now. For real. Like my back is against the wall right now, and I'm just I'm ready. You know what I mean? I always was hungry. It's like the hunger just grew more. I don't know if my stomach got bigger. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But man, like I'm, I'm just I'm totally focused. You know, for real. I got a hell of tunnel vision right now. Is it too late to be having these feelings for you? Like, should you have had these feelings of what you just described? Maybe a yeah. year, two, three years yeah. ago. Well, I've this always hunger had, that you're talking yeah, about. I've I've always had that feeling. You could even if you go back. You know, these years ago, whatever, when you listen to me, like, you could hear that. I've always had that. Always. Never let that go. But right now, right now, like, I'm really, really focused. See, during those years, of course, you know, I'm focused on the music. But it was so much going on personally, you know what I'm saying? So many things going on, you know, back home. So many things going on with this. I got to take care of that. Got to do this. Got to do that. Got to, You know, it, it was so much, you know, so much to deal with. And right now, I feel like I got everything in order to where I could actually just sit in the studio all day, all night, every day, all day, all night. You know, for real. Like, I, I, I'm, man, like, this, this, is, this is what, this is why. Y'all should be scared, <laughs> yeah, for real. Like y'all, like y'all know I was already a rapper's worst nightmare. Like you, you knew that, and now I'm really, really, really trying to put everybody under now, for real. Like I'm, I'm, I'm on it right now. I'm on one right now. 